We've become one of the oldest family-run wineries in California. We are certainly in the Santa Cruz Mountains, the oldest winery. Making wine in Northern Italy goes back at least four generations, if not more. The original winery was in San Francisco, founded in 1910. Bargetto Winery here on this property was founded by our grandfather and his brother, and then started Bargetto Winery December 5th. 1933. So Ralph and Larry worked together from, let's say, 1949 until about 1960, 1964, when Ralph went into real estate. He had 10 kids, okay, we had five kids, and there just wasn't enough sales of wine to feed all those mouths. And then our father was able to take over the reins of this business, I guess because of that decision. We're still here. We're, here. <laughs> We're still here. This room was filled with uh, tall redwood tanks and lots of oak casks. But we replaced it with stainless steel tanks that have refrigeration. We have three brands, La Vita, Bargetto, and Chaucer's. My father introduced those in 1964. We had plum trees, and he had trouble selling the plums that year, so he decided, heck, we know how to make wine. Why don't we make wine out of these beautiful Santa Rosa plums? So that was the first wine that we made from fruits other than grapes. Here we are at Regan Vineyards. So this section is our first section, and this is a special clone of Chardonnay that we call the Mount Eden clone, and it comes from Corton Charlemagne in Burgundy, France, and it's one of the most sought-after Chardonnays of the world. We have almost 40 acres and we get four tons per acre on a really good year. You start to talk about 150 or 160 tons of grapes. So that's significant for our region. As far as I know, it's the most diverse vineyard in the Santa Cruz Mountains. We have seven different varieties and 13 different clone combinations. We have four different clones of Pinot Noir. And what we've learned in recent years is the most special, the most unique wine in the Pinot family out here is the Mount Eden clone Pinot Noir. And when I think about Regan, I think about the Reserve Chardonnay, I think about the Dolcetto in a real unique year, and now I think about this new clone of Pinot Noir for us, this Mount Eden. We're here in the gazebo and we're overlooking what I call the high rent district. This is our La Vita section. And when we first got started in the vineyard, I wanted to have an Italian white. And for me, it was Pinot Grigio. And so we planted two and a half acres of Pinot Grigio. And then we planted three Northern Italian reds. One of them is the Nebbiolo. We have two different clones that comes from Piemonte. It's the great Barolos and Barbarescos of Northern Italy. And this is Dolcetto. So we have an acre and a half Dolcetto, we've expanded it. And it is the cornerstone of our La Vita wine blend because it brings a lot of fruit, a lot of depth, a lot of color, and a lot of intensity. So then on the other side, we have a half an acre of Rafosco. And Rafosco is a Northern Italian red variety from the Veneto area. And it is the deepest, darkest, inkiest red that we grow out here. What's fun about these Italian varietals is we really were pioneers. There were, was really no one in the Santa Cruz Mountains growing these Italians. Perhaps the single most significant press we ever got from a wine writer is this one given to us for our 1987 Santa Cruz Mountain Chardonnay. And then in recent years, we've had a nice run at the State Fair. All three of these wines come from our estate. In the Merlot competition in the state of California, we were given the best Merlot in the state of California. This is the fun part of the wine business. You know, we can enjoy wine with friends and laugh and relax on a Sunday afternoon. It's definitely a family affair, as you can tell. <laughs> Welcome to the Bargetto family. Cheers. Luta. Cheers. A 
a good goal is to become more retail and hospitality right here in our backyard. Our roots go back to hospitality and winemaking and we do the blend of the marriage. So my hope and focus would be to create a better place here at the winery to make it you know, more fulfilling and to have more fun events. To continue going forward being a family owned business. And yes, there's a lot of hard work, but there's a lot of satisfaction and a lot of, and a lot of fun too.